Welcome to the Michigan Skier Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. We're here at Cross Country Ski Headquarters in Roscommon, Michigan on a perfect day for skiing. And we found a couple of folks who've already been out. What's your name? My name is John Geiger from Saginaw. From Saginaw. So what brings you up here to this particular spot? Uh, this is where we ski all the time in the winter time when we I'm a retired and person uh, and there's about four of us that come up usually on Tuesdays. So t tell us a little bit about the trails here. They're uh, pretty famous. V very good trails. Uh, right now they're they're probably in another hour they'll get a little soft because of the sun, but they're they're fabulous. This morning, my friend and I put in about uh, 16 miles already, and uh, but they're just. This is probably one of the better places in the state to go skiing. So are we talking flat, curves, hills, what? Everything. Hills, uh, corners, flats, uh, downhills, uh, you name it, they have it here. So I see you've gone to the new skating skis. Right, correct. Yeah, that's I mostly do in the races, do the skating techniques. There are skis behind us, and that's because we're at the Cross Country Ski Headquarters here in Roscommon, Michigan. And with me are a couple of folks who are known to be really good racers. What's your name? Uh, Mark Beach. And where are you from? Uh, Midland, Michigan. Midland, and what's your name? My name's Katarina Gulledge. And where are you from? I'm from Roscommon, Michigan. Aha, a local, a real local. All right. Well, Mark, tell us how you first got interested in racing. Well, actually, it was just a good form of exercise. You know, um, I used to run a lot, and my, my knees kind of have given away. So I found that uh, cross country skiing, in particular uh, skate skiing, mm -hmm. is a really good form of exercise, easy on the joints, and, and a really good workout. So that's kind of what got me started. And so, um, it's fast too, so. And it's fast. I used to downhill ski a lot, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exercise and fast, right. so, yeah. Right, this is better exercise, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Safer. <laughs> and, <laughs> oh, yes. And how about you? Uh, I moved to this area about 11 years ago, and I came here one day after church with my dad and put on a pair of rental skis, was in the 4 H program a couple days later, and at the end of the 4 H program, I did the Beaver Creek race, and then that started me off in the race. Thing. Well, that's kind of interesting. So um, it, the whole thing, skiing and everything, was new to you then? Yes, it was. I'd had a background as an inline speed skater uh, before I started cross-country skiing. And so when I actually when I learned to ski, I didn't learn to classic ski first. I learned to skate ski first. And then I went back and learned to classic ski so that now I can race in both really comfortably. Racing in both. So well, it's a little safer than inline skating, too. It's a little softer when you fall down. Definitely a little softer when you fall down. I've definitely not had as bad an injury skiing that I did when I speed skated. And what kind of events uh, do you typically like to do? I usually do the Michigan Cup races, the races that are you know going on about every weekend from like mid-December through mid-March. I'm at most of those. Uh, I mean, I really like doing the White Pine Stampede. That's been one of my favorite races for a really long time now. So you like long ones? Uh, well, I do the 20 at the White Pine. I just made the transition uh, a couple years ago from junior racing to the senior category mm -hmm. when I turned 20. So I'm still kind of getting used to doing 15K races on average as opposed to like 7 or 8K races. It's a little bit of a transition. You really have to change the way you train and the way you actually do the race. Mm -hmm. We found a couple of folks who maybe came up for the snow. They're from Indiana. What's your name? Sonny Brewster. And where in Indiana? Jeffersonville. And your name is? Barb Brewster. So I imagine you're from the same place. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Born and raised. So what brings you up to this spot for cross-country skiing? Well, we've been coming up here for, I think, this is our 27th year. So uh, we uh, love coming up, love the snow, wish we had more snow in southern Indiana, but unfortunately we have to come north <laughs> in order to get it. So. Well, you can probably always count on it here, can't you? Pretty much. Um, we've had years that have been better than, some years better than others, but uh, it, there's always enough to ski, and we always have a good time. <laughs> so are there certain trails that are your favorites? Uh, I think Trapper's Cabin, the Adventure Trail, and Wild Turkey are probably our three favorite trails. We found a couple of folks who have just come in from the trails, and they're looking at getting some new skis. What's your name? My name's Debbie. And your name? Vince. And where are you from? Brooklyn, Michigan. Brooklyn, Michigan. So you've come up a ways to get some new skis. Why here? Uh, we saw it on the internet and it looked like the best place for all around best. Uh, they got everything in stock here and they know their stuff. Well now, since you've just come in from the trails, you obviously have some skis. What is it you're looking for in your new ones? 
Well, we like to do a lot of backcountry skiing off the beaten path, and uh, these folks really knew what they were talking about. They're pretty expert at what they do, and the proprietor here actually does this type of stuff. So he's able to get us plumbed up really good on what we wanted. So he really has experience doing what you do. He says he does. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> so what are you holding right now? Uh, new pair of skis. Uh, Ross and all uh, backcountry skis. We've got some backcountry boots with them. Great bindings. A lot really stiff for my old ankles. Uh, he's familiar with dealing with uh, folks that are older than 45. And uh, this uh, should lead us to have a lot of fun, uh, even down south where we don't get that much snow. Well, Bob Fry knows the history of this place, the Cross Country Ski Headquarters in Roscommon, Michigan. And Bob, uh, how long have you and the headquarters been here? Since 1974. It's over 30 years. Unbelievable, isn't it? Well, it's an unbelievable spot, and it's the sort of place I've not been to before, but I'm sure coming back. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how you got started? Well, it's all my mother's fault. I was um, graduated from Michigan State, and my friend and I used to go out west and go skiing in the winter because I had a summer job, and my mother said, you've got to get a real job, Bob. <laughs> so we went to Jackson Hole, and uh, it was so cold that the, um, the hydraulic fluid in the chairlifts was gelled up, and they closed down the mountain. And all we could do is find a little shop that had some cross-country skis in it, and we had the best time of our lives out west skiing at 20 below zero. <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, you can ski in cold weather and have a great time. Cross-country skiing is the warmest winter sport there is. So that's one of the reasons you have so much gear, because you can take care of all those different temperature variations, I imagine. Everybody complains they get too warm. And uh, that's, that's why Lynn, who actually is the foundation of the business, makes it all happen with the right kind of clothing. We well, you know USA Today picked this place as one of the 10 best places in the country to cross-country ski for free. And they mentioned um, the most important thing you have to learn is how to get up when you fall. So can you talk a little bit about lessons? Sure. We have a, a great lesson program, but the, we really had, it was Winter Trails Day where you could ski for free that day if you took a lesson. So you had to get a little education before you got the free deal. But that's what we really find is that, you know, 80% of the people that take a lesson, if they learn how to get up, if that's all they learn, they're much more likely to stay with the sport. But if they, you know, go out and go skiing on their own and uh, fall down and can't get up, they're just not so excited about it. Well, I know that's why you need a lesson, because it happened to me <laughs> the first time I went out without a lesson, and now I know better. Well, and we have a lot of crossover from downhill, and getting up on downhill is way different than getting up on cross-country, so it only takes a minute. As a matter of fact, if you didn't want to come to the 4 o'clock uh, free lesson on Saturdays, and you've never skied before, we always make it a point that if you need a little help, one of our techs will go out with you. It won't cost anything to teach you how to get your bindings on, how to use the poles, and especially how to get up if you fall down. And if people are getting started, they can rent both kinds as well as snowshoes. Yep, we rent everything here. This is Cross Country Ski Headquarters on the east side of Higgins Lake, and we also are in Ross Common. So this is, uh, this is what we build our whole reputation on. We're in the middle of nowhere, so we have to have everything, and um, you can try stuff out. That's... We had folks earlier today come up and try stuff out, and they, they had some options, and they made some good choices. And once you decide what you like the best, you can pretty much get it here. Right, and we make it a point to always have two or three mechanics on duty so we can always install the bindings while you wait and make it uh, real easy for you to take some good stuff home. Well, you know, I think it's a fun sport, but if you come by here, you're going to be hooked. So here it is. Cross Country Ski Headquarters in Roscommon, Michigan. Thank you so much, Bob. Thank you very much.